Hello there, welcome to Exam AZ 900, Microsoft Azure Fundamental Study Guide. This is episode 53, entitled Azure Subscription Offer Types. My name is Tim Warner. In the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Objective Domain, today's skill starts with Describe Azure Pricing, Service Level Agreements, and Life Cycles. We pass through the objective Describe Azure Subscriptions, and our skill specifically is describe the uses and options with Azure subscriptions such as offer types. Go to timw.info forward slash az900sg to look at the interactive table of contents. Let's begin. What is an Azure subscription offer? Well, to review, first of all, recall that Azure subscriptions normally deal with the consumption pricing model, don't they? I'm trying to tie in learning from earlier in the study guide. Remember, we have capital expenditure, which is how IT is traditionally done by making upfront investments and having that investment depreciate over time. By contrast, in a cloud subscription model, we pay only for the resources that we actually consume, hence operational expenditure and a consumption-based pricing model. Offer is simply Microsoft's term for the type of Azure subscription you have. And as it happens, there are a few different basic types. First, there's pay-as-you-go. This is the most common, and this is where a business uses their payment method to consume Azure services, which they pay for at the end of each month. Prepaid is another option. The Enterprise Agreement, or EA, is an example of this, where you get involved in a three-year contract with Microsoft. You renegotiate your spend at the end of each calendar year, and this is use it or lose it, that you prepay, let's say, $10,000 or $100,000, and that will burn off as credit over the next 12 calendar months. Speaking of credit, there are a number of offers that give you either one-time credit, that would be something like the Azure Pass offer, or recurring monthly credit. For example, if you're a Microsoft Certified Trainer or a Microsoft MVP, you're awarded recurring monthly Azure credit. By contrast, there are a number of other credit-based offers that aren't on merit as much as they are on what kind of program you have. If you have a Visual Studio or MSDN subscription, or perhaps if you're a Microsoft partner, etc. I'm going to give you the URL to get to this page and one other page at the end of this lesson, so don't try to strain your eyes looking in the address bar here. Instead, follow along as I describe, first of all, in the Azure.com public website, the Microsoft Azure offer details. This is a table that lists all currently active Azure subscription offers. As I mentioned, you've got the Enterprise Agreement, which is a prepaid plan, why would you do a prepaid plan? Why would your business consider an enterprise agreement with support offer? Well, number one, an EA customer gets discounts on Azure products. That's one incentive. Another is that you get a totally separate portal besides the regular Azure portal. You get what's called the EA or Enterprise Agreement Portal, where you get very detailed cost tracking. In other words, you can take your commitment. Let's say that your business is committing to spend $15,000 over the upcoming 12-month period in Azure. You can log into the EA portal and you can actually break that spend out into your own offers and then distribute those subscription offers internally in your organization. So you get very detailed control over your spend. EA is a pretty cool program if you know in advance that you want to stay in Azure for a while and you have a ballpark figure of what your spend will be. Pay as you go or pay G as Microsoft calls it is perhaps the most common option besides the free trial. Notice that the support plan plans are a separate offer. That is, you would have your pay-as-you-go offer, and then optionally, if I right-click the support plans link and put it into a different tab, it just simply shows us the different support plans, basic, developer, standard, and professional direct. Coming back to offer details, I'm not going to go through every single option here, but notice, as I told you, as a general trend, there are a number of subscription offers that are credit-based. For example, if you have Visual Studio licenses, if you belong to an MSDN program, and so on and so forth. So you'll notice that each of these, let me scroll back up to the top, each of these offers has a discrete offer ID number, and then whether it has as a spending limit or not. And of course, pay as you go in EA don't have a cap. That cap is going to be up to you and your business, your goals, and your consumption. The 
The other page you want to take a look at, and again, I give you a link to this in just a few minutes, is the credit offers by region page at the Azure.com website. Here, you can optionally filter to show only the region or regions that you plan to deploy to, and we can cross-reference to see whether such and so offer is available in such and so region. Azure Pass is a pretty cool non-recurring credit type. Oftentimes, if you attend Microsoft Azure user groups, you may win an Azure Pass as a raffle item, or they just might be nice enough to hand them out. Or perhaps if you're taking a Microsoft official curriculum course, you'll be given one of these. But unfortunately, it looks like neither Brazil South nor Australia Southeast offer the Azure Pass. So if you wanted to use Azure Pass, you'd have to make sure to activate that benefit and deploy to a region that does support the program. Lastly, there's some other options that I actually didn't see on the other page. There's BizSpark and DreamSpark. BizSpark is a program that gives you recurring credit if you're a startup business and you apply to Microsoft and they accept you. DreamSpark is for students who have interest in learning Microsoft technology for their career advancement, career development. For learning resources, check out the Azure Offers list at timw.info forward slash OFF1. To look at the Offers by Region page, timw.info forward slash OFF2. And for guidance from Microsoft on changing your offer, maybe from a credit to a pay-as-you-go model, go to timw.info forward slash OFF3. Well, thanks so much for your participation. In our next episode, we'll examine Azure product purchasing options. You can find me at Twitter at TechTrainerTim, Pluralsight at TimW.info forward slash PS, or my website at TechTrainerTim.com. Happy studying. I'll see you in that next episode.